thank you for stopping by. My name is Sheila and I am making videos about my spiritual awakening. So this is uh, video number three and in this video I want to talk about um, my meditation routine that I have established and I just wanted to um, you know, touch on some basics there. I also wanted to show you my little meditation corner I have here for myself. And um, I also wanted to share that I am now a certified meditation coach. And I'm just getting into that because I really do want to help other people establish a meditation routine of their own uh, because meditation has really changed my life and opened up my eyes and also uh, just really uh, catapulted me into the spiritual journey that I'm on and I'm really excited about it and I don't think I could have gotten here without meditation and I you know there are different meditation techniques and meditation styles and um, you know there's a lot that goes into it in regards to like what time of day should you do it how long you should do it what to do when your mind gets distracted and so those are all things that we could definitely um, bring up in another video but just for this particular video, I wanted to just kind of show you my little meditation corner. Um, and so when I say that uh, it'd be a good idea to set up a little meditation corner for yourself, it's only because that way when you see it, you remind yourself that it's a good thing right? You almost kind of get excited. You're like, oh yeah, I got to go meditate. And you see that there and you're kind of like, it calls to you. You're like, come sit, come sit. And so um, I really like to make mine interactive. Um, I will give you a close up of what it looks like. Um, but I definitely uh, think that uh, everyone should have a meditation corner. And so um Getting started in meditation is really not that hard. Obviously, anytime you're establishing a new routine, it can, you know, be a little difficult. Um, but once you get in the groove and you start to realize how you feel, it, it's, um, you'll get there. It's just, it's called practice for a reason, okay? And even if you only do it, let's say, start off with two minutes one day, and the next day you move up to three minutes, and then gradually just move up. And uh, before I meditate, I sit right here facing my altar here and I do some grounding. So I'll burn my sage, I'll bring some Palo Santo. Um, about once a week I'll burn some frankincense and myrrh um, because it really does kind of help it clear and bring out my intuition. And um, it really does help me to have a more clear connection to my guides. And so once I do that and I invite in uh, the clearing and I invite the, um, the negative energies to leave and I bring in that positivity and detach from any programming that, um, you know, maybe clinging on to this area, my room or me. Um, so then I do um, some chanting. I put my hands together like this and I say Om Namo Guru Dev Namo three times. It means I honor the Guru within me. So once I do that chanting for three times, then I move on to uh, the breath of fire, which is um, three minutes of some heavy um, a breath work to get you real nice and grounded. Um, I'll also save that for another video where I'm, I'll show you all how I get into my meditation zone. Uh, so once I've done that for three minutes, the, the breath work, then I go on to meditating and I will set a timer for about 25 minutes or sometimes I don't even set a timer and I just go with it. I, I meditate for as long as I, I 
I can at some points uh, you know there are days where I am a little bit busier than others but I definitely do uh, sit and even if it's just for 10 minutes 15 minutes or 25 minutes um, you know I I still see the results but you still uh, you know you need to establish a practice um, in order to really um, get to the meditated uh, um, state quicker um, and then you'll know what I mean oh and that happens and then once I'm done meditating then I um, invite my spirit guides to maybe bring me a message is there something that you need me to know is there something that um, I should be listening to do you have a message for me and um, at that point I'll do some um, angel healing cards I have these cards here and I'll just kind of shuffle these around and um, I'll I'll just pull a random card out and children um, and that would be like an intention for the day or maybe something that they they're wanting to communicate with me and each card has a meaning um, and so you can interpret that meaning to however it is that you want um, I also have my meditation cushion I got this at a thrift store super score <laughs> I love it. It's kind of like almost like a bean bag. It's super soft and I do either sit on it cross-legged or I actually um, sometimes if my knees are hurting I just sit like this and I straddle it just like that. Just get in my zone, hands up, you know, palms up like this or like this, grounding. If you put your hands up it means that you're more receptive to receiving energy if you put your hands down it means you're more grounded and um yeah everybody just kind of established their own routine you know there's no wrong way or there's no right way of doing it it's just uh what makes you feel comfortable you know and and not everybody will have the same experience you know and um, it's all about it's all about trying to bring more mindfulness into your life. So um, I, you know, I, I I did take my meditation uh, teacher class, and um, it was based around Buddhism, which I wasn't really aware of that it was, but I'm kind of glad it did because I didn't know too much about Buddhism. Um, and I wasn't sure if it was like a religion, but it's not really a religion. It's mostly to me now just a, a a lifestyle a way of living and i i learned a lot in regards to something i like to live by is the gap so as soon as you feel an emotion bubbling up inside of you you recognize that and you train your mind to basically take a step back and be like i'm not going to engage in that emotion i'm not going to let it take over and then you have the freedom, you have the choice of not letting stuff bother you and get you to the point where you're gonna go irate and lose your shit. Now, I'm not perfect. I am a mom, I have three kids, and I get tested every day by, by my children. They are my teachers. <laughs> uh, but you know, in everyday life, just even you know, sitting in traffic or a bad driver, I'm just on the wheel and I just, Take deep breaths even if I'm gonna be late it's not a big deal you know it really isn't um, I detach from any type of emotion I detach from an outcome um, and it's just a really peaceful way to live so I'm gonna show you my meditation little altar here and uh, I will definitely be making more videos of me doing a meditation and how I actually do my grounding and my breath work and uh, you know I'm uh, open to do guided meditations with y'all if anybody's interested um, now that I am a coach and I'm certified okay Okay, so here is my cute little meditation altar that I have. And like I said, when I first got here, I um, basically light some uh, sage and um, I forget what that's called. Somebody gifted it to me recently. Um, this stuff here, I can't, it looks like a bundle of some, uh, stanky weed but 
I don't know what it's called. I can't remember if somebody gave that to me. And then this is my sage. Oh, smells so dang good. And then I have some Palo Santo. And so, like I said, I burn this and I basically like coat myself in the smoke, right? And I just set that intention, like uh, clear my space, clear my aura, clear my energy, remove any stagnant energy that doesn't serve me. Um, so then as soon as I kind of let that burn a moment there, I um, do my chanting and this is where I burn my frankincense and my myrrh in, on a little charcoal disc. Um, I have my angel cards here, as I said, these are awesome, uh, healing with the angels, oracle cards, love those. Um, I also have a cool little money ritual that I got, uh, that I'm trying out right now. Um, I'll have to do that a different video. I also just kind of have some nice smelly stuff here. I have, um, some lavender oil and I have some eucalyptus spray mist, just, you know, um, make it interactive, you know, put stuff at your altar that uh, is gonna help you to um, keep up that spiritual journey that you're on, you know, I love this book, um, The Four Agreements, these are all just like cool little flashcards about it, and uh, yeah, you know, obviously I've got like a whole bundle of cool, um, crystals here. I got some uh, Tektite and I've got a um, blue lace coin. So it's just, you know, everybody just personalize it. Personalize your own cute little um, altar. And so that way, when you look at it, you remind yourself of that Zen space that you're trying to create in your everyday life. And uh, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.